So I suppose I should apologise for this uh, vaguely pubic disgrace of a beard on my face. <laughs> yeah, I realise it doesn't look great, but it saves me a little bit of money and raises each month. And I, I find that little bit extra is the vital difference between living miserably and Sky Sports, so you have to look at it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, you're, you're a good-looking audience, I'd say, comparatively. Um, no one's going to come in here and out any modelling contracts, but decent-looking people. There's a few people in here tonight I consider to be quite sexually attractive, but there again, I've got disgustingly low standards for that. <laughs> I, uh, well, you know, say some nice is hideous. You know, some nice I'm chatting to someone in the front row. I think is that a face or a tumor? <laughs> <laughs> some nights I scan the whole room. I think is this a gig or a leper colony? I don't know. Some, some nights if they haven't paid the beer, I throw up on them. That's the, <laughs> Some nights they all look like they've been blindfolded and kicked backwards through Primark. Like, what's wrong with Primark, Andrews? Fucking losers. On the, on the level of income, I can afford to buy my clothes from Matalan. So. Fuck those Primark losers. And, uh, decent looking people. Even if you were, why would I tell you? I'm trying to make a living. Come on stage and say, what? Well, Horrid bunch of fucking mountain here. <laughs> it gets off to a good start. I'm, um, I'm from quite an ugly family, actually. Our family, every time we have a family gathering, like, we could probably charge strangers an entry fee just to come in and stare at us. Fucking ugly people, they're just. They've all got a sort of faces you'd normally only expect to pop out of you if you're on a ghost train. <laughs> um, ugly. Like, um, and, um, this is the best I've ever looked in my life. Oh, this is the best I've ever looked. Like, when I was a kid, I was so scruffy and ginger, I looked like someone spat out a WhatsApp. That's, uh, 